Mike Wang on Twitter has been revealing some of the new badges that are going to be in NBA 2K20, so we'll go over all the confirmed ones. In a gameplay blog that came out yesterday, it said that there's going to be 80 badges, which is a lot more than we've had in the past. Looks like they're just going to split up the skills into various different badges. So one of the first ones he talks about is the Handle for Days badge. It's going to allow you to do more dribble combinations before your player gets tired and before he can start fumbling the ball. So in the blog yesterday, they were saying that you're not going to be able to spam your dribble moves anymore. And I even told you that probably wouldn't be the case because here's a badge for everybody that wants to dribble. So obviously every dribbler is going to have this badge. They're going to be able to pull off more combinations. So I don't think much is going to change there, but we'll see because they are saying that bigs are not going to be able to have access to the same animations, even jump shot animations. They're saying taller players, they're not going to have athletic jump shots. Next up is the microwave badge. It's been redesigned and it's been changed to hot start. If you have this badge and can knock down your first jumper, you get a boost to your shot ratings for a period of time. The more shots you can knock down without missing, the longer you keep your boost. Quick first step is another badge. This is for players like De'Aaron Fox, the super fast players It's gonna allow you to get by your defender with that first step. Then he talks about the volume shooter badge. It's making a return. In the past, the volume shooter was actually a negative badge because if you didn't shoot with that player, then he would get cold. But Mike Wing says that this year it's a positive only badge meaning it's going to help you if you do take a lot of shots, but if you don't take shots, you're not going to get cold. So that's good because I remember playing in my team, they would sometimes release a card and the card would have volume shooter and then you wouldn't want that card because he could go cold if you're not shooting with him all the time. So it's nice that they put the badge back in, but it's no longer a negative. The posterizer badge is gone. In 2K20, it's going to be called contact finisher. It will help dunkers posterize people, but it's also going to help smaller players who play below the rim finish with contact. That's very interesting. There are some new rebounding badges. Rebound Chaser. It helps chase down long rebounds. Worm helps get around box outs and box makes it tougher for worms. So I wonder, will they finally do something to improve the rebounding in the game now that they have three separate badges for rebounding. Sounds promising, but we'll have to see. Mike is also saying that Ankle Breaker is still the main badge for more effective step back dribble moves. And there's a new badge called Space Creator for more effective step back jumpers. Somebody asked him if they're bringing back post hook specialist. Mike Wing says it's gonna be called Deep Hooks and it's the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar badge. There's also going to be a deep fades badge that helps you hit post fades from further out. The slippery off ball badge gives you more success with the new off ball juke moves. It also helps you get free from defenders that try to jam you up. Then Mike Wang talks about a new badge called Giant Slayer. It's going to help smaller players at the rim scoring amongst the trees. Will small guys be able to finesse layups around the big guys? That'll be interesting. The interceptor badge is back in the game. That's going to help you steal passes in the passing lane. There's two defensive badges. The first one is called clamps. It's for perimeter defenders for lockdowns. And then there's another defensive badge called post move lockdown. That's for paint defenders. Mike Wang also puts out this statement in general about the badges. He says that we pretty much retooled every badge. So I'd advise going into 2K20, looking at badges as a clean slate. Many OP badges were heavily nerfed and we'll be doing a lot more badge updates post ship to continue balancing. Mike is also saying that they tried to get rid of badges that nobody would ever want, like the charge card badge. That was a badge I would never even work on in practice. It was useless. You never see anybody taking charges in the game. They don't really have a good charge system, even though it is a part of the NBA and basketball, but they haven't quite figured it out in their game. So it makes sense to just remove it because it doesn't seem like it does anything anyway. There's no more free throw ace badge because free throws are now back to being an attribute that you can upgrade. That's a good sign. Limitless range has been changed to range extender to boost threes, but also deep twos. So even though they're changing the name, I'm pretty sure everybody's still going to call it limitless range because range extender just doesn't have the same 
just didn't have the same ring to it. So that's pretty much it for now. Although Mike Wang, every few hours, he's been responding to people as they ask questions about the badges. So maybe he'll go ahead and give us more info in the future. If he does, I'll make another video. So let me know what you think of all of these badges that he has discussed. Don't pass it here. No, don't do that. I'm going to be a savage. Where you at? <laughs> Simmons was waiting. I did him dirty, the jazz. I had a wide open slam. I waited for glory to rub it in.